Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications before you leave. So you guys, I did this dramatic cut crease today with my Morphe 39A palette. And I also used Le Bronze and the new Le Peach by Jackie Ina. I got mine during the pre, so I'm super inspired to use this for the new year, y'all. First of all, my nails match the bag lit. <laughs> And I told you guys last year that Le Bronze was a little bit too dark for me for a highlight. So I was so excited when she came out with Le Peach. This combo of highlight, like I hope that it's showing up on my camera how I see it because this is lit y'all. Like Jackie did her damn thing with this collab. Um, and I had to get the limited edition bag and it just says artist couture and jack this hair video will be up next so be on the lookout for that i love you guys so much and this year 2018 is mine it's yours we're about to take over if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if y'all like this look because i'm really feeling it right now so let me know if y'all feel me too and let's get into the video and i'm using my tart shape tape concealer Using my Morphe E27 to blend that out. And I'm taking it all the way out to my corner because we will be applying a shadow all the way over there. So it is prime and I'm trying something new today. I was watching my girl, Aaliyah Michelle, and she was saying that she saw people were talking about not setting for their primer um, with powder. And they said that the shades come out more pigmented. So I tried that and it's pretty lit. If y'all haven't tried that yet, try it because your shades come out hella pigmented. So for this look today, we are using the 39A palette. I've had this palette for a long time. I got this and the uh, 3502 palette at the same time. I'm just waiting to use it on camera with all the names on it. And I'm going to have to glue this on the top of here so I know what shade is what. But for now, I'm just set it to the side and I'll just show you guys the shades that I'm using, but y'all look at this palette, like look at these colors. This is Morphe's holiday palette, so if you want this and you haven't gotten it yet, you might want to hurry up and grab it because I'm pretty sure that after the holidays are over, it's probably going to be gone. So the shades in the middle row are all bigger and I think for like blush and contour, um, I've seen naturally sunny use one of these as a contour shade so i might try that today Let's go in with this shade right here first is my transition color with my morphe g17 and i'm making sure that i drag the color all the way to the edge so we can get that nice sharp line you can use tape if you want to i don't like using tape just because I feel like that's an extra step when I can just clean it up with concealer. And instead of just swiping it side to side, I'm going like in an upside down U shape so I can make sure I get it in the inner corner as well. Because I still want it to be there after we cut the crease in it. With this shade right here, I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. These colors blend so good and they're so pigmented. A few of the colors did have a little bit of fallout, but I don't mind um, a little bit of fallout. It's not like falling out of the pan or anything like that. And then I started to drag it down on both sides as if I was doing a slight halo. even deeper shade right here the m441 brush and we're just gonna deepen it up and 
I'm going to take my Morphe M514 brush and I'm going to take this shade right there. And I'm going to start to really build this color up on the outer edge and then I'm going to start dragging it inwards. You really want to make sure that you are taking your time and blending everything out. You want it to be nice and seamless. Okay, so now I'm going with the same brush, the Morphe M514, and I'm going to go in with this deep plum shade right here. same shade but I'm going to take that on my Sigma E25 and really pack it in and then blend it out. My transition color I'm going to go back in with my Morphe G17 and that transition shade. Okay so now for the foam part I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and if I didn't tell y'all before this is in the color Tan Sand. And I'm going to use my Morphe E19. I've already ran and raved about this brush on my channel. Like I said, if you have hoodie lids, this is the perfect brush to use to cut your crease. So I'm taking the smallest amount of concealer and I'm gonna start to cut my crease. If you have hooded eyes, you already know you have to go above your crease. Do not follow your crease because when you close your eyes, you won't be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is start to cut my crease. I'm going to open my eye up so that it can transfer so I can know where, like how high to take it. Now I'm going to take my NYX Mixing Medium Liner and I'm going to take some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take my same um, E19 brush by Morphe and I did wipe the concealer off because I don't want my brush getting too messy. So I'm going to place my NYX Mixing Medium Liner where I put the concealer. I'm going to just wipe my brush off again and I'm going to go in with LeBron's by Artist Couture and Jackie Ina and place this all over the area that I just put the NYX Mixing Medium Liner. I pressed, I didn't like drag or anything, I'm just gonna press it onto my lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna just wipe my brush off again, get a little bit more Mixing Medium Liner, and apply that on top of bronze. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the peach. The M431. It's a dense pencil brush. Going in with those two deepest shades that I use with a little bit on my brush. And I'm just going to sharpen that line on top of the lid. So now what I'm going to do to see exactly where I want my wing, I'm going to take this Sigma F70 concealer brush and I'm going to put a little bit of my shape tape on it and just clean up the edge so it'll be nice and sharp. And then I'm going to put on my wing liner with the NYC liquid liner. As you can see on my left eye, I connected the lid to the wing and I just got a little bit more over here to do. So I'm just gonna follow the same steps I did as far as like cutting the crease and all that to finish this off. This highlight, like my nose highlight right now, I hope it's coming up how I see it because this is lit. So I took my Morphe M510 brush and sprayed it with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay all day. It's the bronze and the peach together on my brush. Like, 
Do y'all see? Jackie. Jackie did not have to slay us like this. Like, y'all. Okay. So, yeah, this might be my new highlight combo because it's lit. Like, it's gonna stars. I'm gonna take the colors that I used. I'm gonna start off with this one right here. I'm taking this angled real technique brush. I'm gonna put my L'Oreal telescopic mascara on my bottom lashes. This dual ended brush, this is the Morphe. M516 and I use the smaller side to do my inner corner highlight and I'm gonna just mix the bronze and the peach and put that in my inner corner. For my brow bone highlight, took this shade right here and I just put a little bit on my brow bone. The smallest amount of bronze on my brush and put it right up in my arch. take this Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in Kimchi Doll. in the soap 